Simply Learn. Your pace, your place. Hello, and welcome to the CCNA Routing and Switching course offered by Simply Learn. This introductory lesson will give us a brief account of the CCNA Routing and Switching course and its objectives. Cisco Certified Network Associate, abbreviated as CCNA, is a certification from Cisco. It is a first level Cisco career certification. This certification confirms a person's ability to install, configure, operate, and troubleshoot medium sized routing and switching networks. The ability will also include the execution and confirmation of networks to distant sites in a wide area network. We will begin with the objectives of this course in the next slide. By the end of this course, you will be able to outline the fundamentals of networking and TCP IP, define spanning tree protocol STP and ether channel, describe VLAN and inter VLAN routing, describe IPv4 addressing and iOS licensing, describe the managing of Cisco internetwork and devices. Describe the configuration and troubleshooting of OSPF, EIGRP, and IPv6. Define wide area networks, WAN. Now let us look at the structure of the course. This is a five day training course designed to prepare the participants to take the Cisco Certified Network Associate, CCNA, Routing and Switching Certification Exam. The Cisco exams expect the participants to be able to configure Cisco devices at a basic level. To achieve this, virtual labs are provided with this course. Prior to attending this course, participants are expected to familiarize themselves with the content available online and practice the sample question papers. This is necessary to reap the full benefits from the course. A set of three sample test papers will be provided to prepare for the exam. There are quiz questions at the end of each lesson to check the understanding of the participants. Let us learn about this course in the next slide. There are 21 lessons in this course. Lesson 1 will address internetworking, including topics like network and network models. Lesson 2 will address the fundamentals of networking, including network topologies and Ethernet. It will also explain data encapsulation. Lesson 3 will be an introduction to Transmission Control Protocol Internet Protocol, TCP IP, focusing on layers 7, 3, and 4 of the OSI model. Lesson 4 will deal with IPv4 addressing and subnetting. Lesson 5 will discuss VLSMs, summarization and troubleshooting TCP IP. In Lesson 6, the use of Cisco Internetworking Operating System will be discussed. We will continue our discussion on the next set of lessons in the following slide. Lesson 7 will describe how to manage a Cisco internetwork, including network architecture. Lesson 8 will address internet protocol routing. Subjects include static and default routes. Lesson 9 will deal with managing Cisco devices, including hardware components and remote access. Lesson 10 will address layer 2 switching. In Lesson 11, VLANs and inter-VLAN routing will be discussed. In continuation to the course details, we will discuss the next five lessons in the following slide. Lesson 12 will address Spanning Tree Protocol, STP, and Ether Channel. Security is the topic for Lesson 13. Lesson 14 deals with Network Address Translation, NAT. In Lesson 15, Internet Protocol Version 6 Addressing will be discussed. Lesson 16 will present DHCP, NTP, and High Availability. We will discuss the last set of lessons in the next slide. Enhanced Interior Gateway Routing Protocol, EIGRP, is the topic for Lesson 17. Lesson 18 will discuss the Open Shortest Path First OSPF Routing Protocol, and Lesson 19 deals with advanced topics in OSPF, which is multi-area OSPF. The subject of Lesson 20 is Wide Area Networks, WANs. Lesson 21 will address troubleshooting. In the next slide, let us look into the Cisco CCNA exams. 
There are two methods to achieve CCNA certification. The first method is to pass two exams, 100-101 ICND-1 and 200-101 ICND-2. The second method is to pass one exam, 200-120 CCNAX, which includes more material than ICND-1 and ICND-2 combined. We will focus on the exam pattern of CCNA in the next slide. The Cisco exams include different types of questions, multiple choice questions with single answer, multiple choice questions with multiple answers, drag and drop and fill in the blank, and router and switch simulation questions. These test the participant's level of knowledge in using, maintaining, and configuring the devices. In the next slide, we will look into CCNAX exam. There are no prerequisites for the CCNAX exam. Cisco does not divulge the grading pattern of the exams or the cutoff scores for passing. The duration of CCNAX exam is 90 minutes, with 50 to 60 questions. Most questions test fundamental knowledge and critical thinking. To pass the exam, theoretical and practical hands-on knowledge of Cisco devices is necessary. If you pass the exam, the resulting certification is valid for three years. You must recertify or achieve a Cisco Certified Network Professional or Cisco Certified Internetwork Expert Certification before that time. Let us find out the value of CCNA Routing and Switching Certification in the following slide. Cisco certifications are some of the most respected in IT services. The industry recognizes this certification as a demonstration of the knowledge and skill required to maintain today's networks. According to Robert Half, networking professionals with Cisco networking administration skills can expect to earn a 9% premium above average salaries in the industry. The next slide gives us the sources of information from which additional material can be obtained. Further study and practice is advisable before taking the certification exams. One way to accomplish this is to visit the Cisco Press website to order course material for each exam. The official certification guide offers an overview of the material. The foundation learning course material is an in-depth treatment. In addition, the general Cisco website provides information about concepts and commands. Specific information for each router or switch platform is available there. 